What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. I'm dealing with some stone brewing beer guys. I have not had this series in quite some time. It's going to be the notoriously known Enjoy By series. This is the Enjoy By 10 31 22 so we got a halloween rendition of a beer guys from stone it's the frighteningly fresh uh hazy ipa clocking in at 9.4 percent abv which is typically what all their enjoy by beers are um coming in at it's very common you don't see really any divergence from that 9.4 percent um i can't remember what's in this i did look it up on untapped i think it's citra nelson Savin. Amarillo and uh, maybe one other guys, but those are kind of the hot profiles we have going into this. So this was canned on 920. Today is the uh, 5th of October. So this is just over two weeks fresh. Thought I'd pick this up. I was at a beer store earlier in Travers and I was kind of picking up some awesome beers. It's coming in around $16.99 for a six pack. Kind of what you're gonna get from Stone when it's distributed all around the country now. So $16.99 is kind of that staple price, guys. So we are indeed hazy as we go to a pour. Got a lot of gold and orange, uh, dark copper, yellow, amber kind of mixture going on. But pretty sexy looking beer to be honest. A um, little bit of particulate floating in there, little floaties. Um, pretty creamy, densely compacted head, almost two and a half fingers worth. I poured very aggressively, probably a little too much, um, sitting here talking to you guys. But look, it looks beautiful. It's, it's, it's the Stone West Coast guys. Um, they have like this hazy hybrid they typically do but again i have not had an enjoy by in a very long time um just so many other beers on the market so um sometimes these days i do find myself going back to the old school beers stone kind of one of the most well-known uh, california breweries guys uh, escondido california if i'm not mistaken um so Carbonation streaming to the top, um, a little bit less than moderate, but still very good looking beer. I can already smell some hoppy tropical vibes going on. Let's go do an official aroma, guys. Cantaloupe, dank cantaloupe, honeydew, apricots, light citrus, popping, juicy tangerine and grapefruit mixture. Earthy kind of subtle maltiness sitting underneath, a little bit of white bread, a little bit of like jammy peachiness also. It's, it's got a lot of layers going on here. It smells very bright, very aromatic, um, quite hoppy, but again, very juicy and subdued also. So let's go to it. Cheers, guys. It's the Enjoy by 1031. Cheers. Happy Halloween coming up in a month, less than a month. Chewy. Whew. Chewy grapefruit, chewy tangerine, very upper medium mouthfeel. Again, that oily, piney kind of citrus coming off um, very, very strongly. It's It's got this big, um, bready, malty undertone, that, that white bread, but it's got that like jammy, peachy um, spread that comes across on the malt bill. It's a little bit hot if you will even though it's 9.4 percent which is a monster beer guys 9.4 going down very smoothly it's got this nice creamy um, stone fruity factor that kind of just uh, takes the edge off of that uh, hot ethanol gasoline kind of heat but you do feel a little bit in the chest it's that pine it's that bitterness um, it's the 9.4 kind of smacking you around a little bit in a very nice way in a very nice way um that being said, this is very widely accessible. Um, they're a little bit harder to get in some places, but you can usually get them as long as you get to the store on time and, and the, the distribution drops it. It's usually there. Um, but that being said, $16.99 for six awesome beers at 9.4%. There's a lot of value, guys. This is tremendous value coming in in this beer. Um, it's that hazy New England kind of West Coast hybrid still delivering very nice west coast vibes with some dank citrus uh the, again that tangerine grapefruit uh oily compound um going on with that uh, stone fruit that that, that dank cantaloupe uh, a little bit of that tropical uh, uh pineapple and, and uh, mango on the back end guys but super dank piney not super dank super piney slash dankness on the back end with lingering bitterness awesome Again, 
It's a little bit chewy. I get, it's still dank a little bit. I get a little bit more of that going in. Um, I'm like grinding my teeth against um, clementine rinds. Uh, there's a little bit of that grapefruit juiciness. It's a little bit of like um, uh, lemon juice in there as well, but it's leaning more towards like tangerine, I'd say, and grapefruit. But again, I think what you're hit with is that nice malt bill, a little bit of like uh, subtle heat from the 9.4%, but it's rounded out really well with that uh, dank cantaloupe, guys. Um, a little bit of that stone fruit, um, that stone fruit marmalade, really, that little peach thing underneath. Uh, and then finished off real nice with that um, tropical tropical fruit um, genericness, you could say, but I like I like saying pineapple and mangoes in here, but more mostly pineapple on the back end. And then that oily, kind of um, pine cone dankness on the back end. It's, 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 I said a lot of things, but all those things are coming to mind. So it's not just one factor, it's all of those things combined together into this awesome 9.4% beer, guys. It's very tasty. Having no trouble putting this down. Great, great value in here for 9.4. Uh, Stone does it, guys, they do it really well. It's awesome. So it's got a little bit of heat. It's a little bit of heat, but I don't know how else to say it at 9.4. So as for a rating, I, I'm gonna go, it's one of the better ones I've had in a long time. I mean, it's it's hoppy, but it's soft. It's still chewy and, and um, uh, dank, west coasty, east coasty, all those things put together, it's awesome. Um, I'm gonna go 4.2 out of five. It's really good, guys. Hard to beat the value in here at $16.99. So it is what it is. It's the Enjoy Buy 103122, frighteningly fresh uh, from Stone, guys. It's It's been another uh, review, guys. It's been uh, Poor Michigan Reviews. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.